Well, that's not what I expected. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 news video for you guys today. It is a big one because we have announcement on the next DLC. And it's not exactly what we were predicting for the last three months basically. Nope, despite all the posts of flyers getting us ready for the tease that we would have a flyer pack on the way. Or maybe we'd get Microceratus finally in our grasp. Nope, nope, it's not one we were predicting would be the next one at least. It is a hybrid pack, which, well, more accurately, it is the secret species pack. And the release date is much sooner than we anticipated, and the surprises in it are much greater. So first, let's get into it. Yes, we have the hybrids coming back, the original three, and the one from Camp Cretaceous Season 4 slash 5. And my god, it is an interesting surprise, to be sure. I've been invaded in the room by my puppy. Hello. Hello, hi. Hi, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. And you, oh, you, 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 leash. All right, then, just wait right there. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, the hybrids. So for, we've got four hybrids coming and a bioluminescent skin and bigger surprises and now let's get into it with that little interruption oh hello cutie again all right so the first species we're going to talk about is the first one on showcase which is the ankyloticus which has a redesign that makes it look quite nice i must say considering that the first one was probably the creepiest looking sauropod or creature or hybrid whatever you want to list it as it was the creepiest and for many it was the ugliest of all can be but now it looks much better with its redesign on its head especially giving it a win as it looks much more like the ankylosaurus than the uh creepy old uh face of death that it used to have let's just say and also it is much thicker in the tail as well and probably in the body as well and of course it is adorning with the bioluminescent skin but moving on we're going to talk about the next species which is the stegoceratops which is probably the least popular already in my opinion mainly because unlike the ankyloticus this one is still adorning its same design but unlike the next one we'll discuss it is a negative as realistically it kind of just looks like they stuck a triceratops head on a stegosaurus's body unlike the cool design of the concept art of the stegoceratops that was for jurassic world i know that it's canonical in the franchise as a hybrid dr Wu was working on as it was shown on the screens and such along with others but unfortunately this one despite having some cool colors from the looks of it and most likely will have even more since we don't have an image of it in the daylight just yet I'm thinking that it's probably going to be the lowest in the ranking for many in their hybrids. Though, I'm still intrigued by it. No beef with it. No beef. No beef. No beef. But now getting on to the best of the original trio from the Secrets of Dr. Wu pack, it is the Spinoraptor, which for many fans is one of the best hybrids, and I, I mean, I can remember certain YouTuber going on a rampage of her love for the Spinoraptor in a hilarious way, but I think Frontier saw that and was like, well, scratch that, we're not doing the flyers, we saw this YouTuber loving this thing, we gotta give her this thing. And my god, did they not disappoint, because it looks absolutely amazing and with the bioluminescence as well it looks absolutely stunning the colors on it are amazing and even in this image here it looks really happy to be here it's like i made it guys i graduated yeah but hopefully it does keep its roars as it is one of the coolest um sounding creatures in the first game in my opinion but I think that it will be probably the best rated of the DLC hybrids. But moving on to the fourth and final one, it is the Spinoceratops, or what was once known as the Sinospino, apparently. Which 
I gotta say, it is a happy feeling that it is coming in the game. It's one more of the missing species added to the roster, and one that we kind of were all thinking wasn't gonna happen. And it is definitely going to be a highlight of this DLC. Get, get it? Highlight? Because, you know, it's got highlights because of the bioluminescence. That sail looks absolutely stunning. It's got the best bioluminescence of the four already. And I gotta say, despite it literally looking like a Sinoceratops with a sail, unfortunately, I think it will still be exciting, but it's probably not the best. For me, in my current ranking, it would be probably Spinoraptor, then it would be Ankylodocus, then Spinoceratops, and then Stegoceratops. But moving on, we have one more thing to discuss about before we get into the philosophical debate. We also get the reveal that the Indoraptor will also be coated with a bioluminescent skin. And it looks very nice, honestly. Like, I love how it's designed for the stripe and the quills, and also even on the tip of its head as well. That's absolutely cool. And kind of creepy as well, which fits the Indoraptor superbulously. As of this moment, I'm not sure if it does have it for the Indominus Rex or Scorpius Rex. This is editing Austin here. Yes, the Indominus Rex in the post is confirmed to have a bioluminescent skin, though it doesn't say the same for Scorpius Rex, so it's possible that it will just be these two along with the DLC dinosaurs. So for all you Scorpius Rex fans, I'm sorry, but your luck might not be in favor. But back to regular Austin. And guys, that is the DLC, which the reveal of the release date being this Wednesday, March 13th, is like insane. And I think it's the first time we've had a DLC release on a Wednesday. I could be wrong, but I think they've all been Tuesdays or Thursdays, if I'm not mistaken, which Kind of weird that they're breaking, they're breaking all the formulas with here. They used to have like a simple formula. A very simple formula! But unfortunately, it looks like they are breaking it off, which completely goes against their like pattern or somewhat stable pattern, which is going to make predicting DLCs very hard, especially when we all were ready for a flyer pack to be announced and then it wasn't. And also, this does raise a major controversy for this DLC already, as it's announced, with the fact that three of these four species were already in the first game. It is much like how the Huayangosaurus was added by the Deluxe DLC pack for the launch of the game. It was a major setback and major disappointment for many fans, myself included, considering that all the other species were new and unique. That one was one that should have been added and many fans felt that the hybrid should have been included as well as part of the pack or at least if they were to be added in the future should have been added for free at least part of a big farewell gift maybe or something but much like how the velociraptor pack skins for blue echo charlie and delta were added through a paid update this was not the case for these ones, which has rubbed many fans in the wrong way, as I've already seen with many others. And also, another thing, which I was going to keep this as a separate video, but I figured let's just get it both out. The update for this. We've always had major updates with these DLC launches, and some, if not all of them, have been way, way better for fans of the game than the DLCs themselves. They've had loads of things added to them. They've made the game so much better, more intriguing and such. And let's be honest, we have enough dinosaurs and hybrids and creatures already. Most of us just want more decorations, more behavioral changes, more fixes to terrains, to maps, to all the game's coding and such. But I think the biggest downside of this DLC, while despite many fans wanting the hybrids, in a pack. I think this DLC will not be as successful as many others. I think it will in terms of like, you know, it's the hybrids, people want them. But unfortunately, in the first comment on their Twitter post, where it's asked about information on the free update, um, 
unfortunately, we got the news that the Secret Species DLC pack is launching alongside a smaller update that will include a number of bug fixes. Keyword, bug fixes, which the fact that they're saying it's smaller is bad enough, but the fact that they're basically describing it as just being for bug fixes is a major loss for us. I think I can understand why it is because of all the um, letting go of employees due to major incidents last year at the end of the year and it's affecting them right now and it pretty much explains why they've made a post regarding asking fans what they want to see in future updates but I think that this is still a major loss. The updates are the biggest things, but maybe they're going to change their formula. I've seen some people talking about maybe they're going to do it broken up where they do the DLC this month and then in between that and the next DLC they'll do the big update, which honestly isn't a bad idea. It spreads out the work for them and also it builds up the hype for us as it gives us less downtime to worry about because usually those three months of waiting and such are probably some of the lowest moments for our lives as Jurassic World Evolution 2 fans. But other than that, I will say that I am excited for this DLC. Do I think that it should have been part of a free update for the original three species? Yes. Am I disappointed that they're coming into this game? No way. I already have an idea for a speed build for a hybrid facility with the a certain glitch that I haven't yet shared, but I am definitely excited for this. It is going to be awesome to use these guys. Hopefully they have more unique animations with them. Hopefully um, we get to see more of the game in the future as I know that's one of the biggest fears and hopefully this isn't the last DLC because all of us Microceratus fans especially are going to be very sad face but anyway guys thank you so much for watching maybe liking subscribing you are amazing never forget that and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one but until then guys enjoy yourself